Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Primaris Space Marine painting tutorial and today we are painting the mighty Imperial Fists. Yes, we're doing it. The, some may argue, the hardest scheme to achieve a really good look with because yellow in and of itself is usually a, quite a tricky colour to work with. However, contrast makes this a hell of a lot easier. So, what we've done is we've primed our intercessor with Wraithbone because we want this to be a nice warm golden yellow uh, rather than a sort of colder, more imposing yellow that you would get with a grey sear. And of course the first colour that we're going to be using is Yandan yellow. Now I'm using a small layer brush at the moment and that's because I want lots of control as I do this because I want to take this very very steadily uh, by just taking a small amount of this on my brush. I'm going to start painting this all over our Space Marine's armour. Now we want this to be a nice smooth coat, so we just want to take our time, mop up any excess as we go, like this, and we want to get this all over the model. Now you want to take this, as I say, you want to take this a section at a time, so you get lots of control, rather than kind of just blundering into it as it were. I'm going to always be on the lookout for any dark patches because well, you can really, it's very easy to kind of lose control with the and in yellow, especially because the, the shading part of it is quite orange, rather than say like with a dark angel, when you use dark angels green, the, the kind of shading pigment almost looks like a black, so you can almost get away with it. But with the yellow, as you can see, it's very, very orange. And so that's not the tone that we're after. We are after more of that golden yellow. So we just want to always be on the lookout for these large dark areas by just using the brush very gently over the top of that contrast paint to just mop it up like I've done there. And I'm just gonna keep moving it around, painting in all of these surfaces.
with that Yandan yellow applied all over, well, it looks pretty spot on. I really, really, really like that. So what we are going to do now is we're going to colour in a few more base coats. Rather than doing any of the highlights just yet, we're going to get the rest of the base coats done first. And the colour that we're going to use first is Flesh Terror's Red. And we're going to use this on the Aquila on his chest. And we want to be really, really careful here so as not to get this Flesh Terror's Red on all that lovely yellow that we've just painted. So just take your time and be really careful. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some black Templar. And we're going to use this to paint in all of the soft details on all of the soft joints in his armour. So again, you just want to be really careful. And with that done, don't worry too much about doing the other black details. There are a few, like this bolt rifle and the Imperial Fist insignia. What we wanted to do is we wanted to get those bits finished first, because we're going to do those bits slightly differently. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to paint in all the leather details. This includes the belt and pouches, and the colour that we're going to be using for this is Saigor Brown. So we just want to be nice and careful as we do this. Cycle Brown is a really dark colour. We really do want to get that on top of our lovely and in yellow armour now, do we? And with that done, what we now want to do is we're going to use some Corax White. And we're going to use this to fill in the Imperial Fist sigil on his shoulder pad. Now we want to do this all the way around the fist because this is always white rather than a wraith bone. And if we put Apothecary White over the top, we're just going to get a slightly dark grey bone colour. You just want to use this like this just to make that nice and white. And so that when we come to painting in the detail, we don't then have to kind of pick around that. What you can also do here is use this Corax White just to neaten up anywhere where you might have got a bit of a and yellow on that chapter icon. It's like I got a little bit there on the outside rim and around here on the bottom as well and so with that Corax white applied it's now time to paint the rest of the black details and these are going to be the bolt rifle casing the shoulder pad trim and the imperial fist icon now the first color we're going to use is basilicanum gray and this is because we want these to be a really dark imposing cold black uh, in real stark contrast to the bright yellow of the Imperial Fist's armour. So this Basilicanum Grey is going to act as our little pre-shade to that, rather than just doing the Black Templar straight on. And the reason we didn't do that on the little soft joints is because, well, we want those to have a little bit more softness in the colour. And when you just use Black Templar straight out the pot, it gives you a nice really kind of soft pre-highlighted black as it were whereas these guys we want them to be really kind of as i say a, a real stark imposing contrast to the black uh, to the yellow i should say so we're going to get this basilicanum gray all over these details like i'm doing here again just being very careful and being very methodical because we want this to be a reasonably smooth coat all over like 
this. You always want to kind of finish a section before you move on to another one. But as I say, the areas that are going to be black are the bolt rifle casing, the trim of the shoulder pads, and that Imperial Fists chapter icon. And with that Basilicon and Grey all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Black Templar over the top of those Basilicon and Grey areas. Just like this. As you can see, it's already giving us a much darker colour and quality than if we were to just use it straight out of the pot. And with that done, what we're now going to do is going to use Apothecary White once again. I'm going to use this to colour in the rope on his shoulder pad. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some thinned down Iron Warriors. I'm going to use this to paint in all of the silver details. This is going to be areas like the mechanical parts of the bolt rifle, the vents on his helmet, the vents on his backpack, And any other areas that you want to be silver. And with that Iron Warriors applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Retributor Armor to paint in the gold details. Now we've got this little winged skull here on his bolt rifle. And we've also got a little Aquila on this chap hanging off his rope here. And with that done, what we're now gonna do is gonna use some Basilicanum Grey to shade all of that silver. And next up, we're going to use some Fire Slayer Flesh. I'm going to use this to shade those gold details. And so with that done, well, all of our base coats are now complete. So what we are going to do is we are going to start the long process of highlighting. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to highlight all of that yellow armor and the color that we're going to be using is some thinned down phalanx yellow. And what we want to do is we want to take a small brush. I'm using a Wargamer Insane Detail Brush from Army Painter. And we're just going to start picking out all of those edges around the model. And what you may notice is that because we've used contrast paint, the majority of this work has actually already sort of been done for us. But what we want to do is we're basically just doing this now to strengthen out any of those highlights and make them a really strong yellow. So you don't have to do all of the edges if you don't want to, you can skip straight to the next step to just do the spot highlight. 
But I'm just going to do this now just to add a little bit of strength to all of those edges. And with those phalanx yellow highlights done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some dawn yellow. And we're going to use this as our spot highlight. So we just want to place a small amount of this dawn yellow just on the sharpest corners of our armour. Just to give it that little impression of the light catching like that. So you just want to go around picking out all these little sharp bit edges. So just these little corners. And then we'll come back. And with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to use some Wild Rider Red. I'm going to use this to highlight our Aquila that we originally painted with the Flesh Terrors Red. Like this. And with that Wild Rider Red applied, what we want to do is take a teeny tiny amount of Fire Dragon Bright. We just want to use this on the absolute tips. Of these edges. Just like that. And with that done, our Aquila is painted. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of the black details and the color that we're going to be using, some thinned down Dawnstone. And what we want to do is we basically just want to pick out all of the edges on these shoulder pads and on the gun and on the chapter iconography on his shoulder. What you can also do is pick out the little ribs in the soft joints in between his armour plates. But you don't have to if you don't want to. It looks pretty effective without them anyway. The highlight that the contrast has provided is quite subtle. It's almost quite appropriate for those little ribbed details as they are. And with that Dawnstone applied, what we now want to do is we want to use a small amount of Administratum Grey. We just want to use this as a little spot highlight on like the corners of the black. Just to give it the impression of the light catching off that armour like that. With all of that black finished, what we're now going to do is highlight all the silver with some iron hand steel. Just picking out all of the edges. And with those iron hand steel highlights all applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna use some Liberator Gold. We're gonna use this just to highlight any of the gold details you may or may not have on your Imperial Fist. And with that Liberator Gold applied, what we're going to do is going to use some Corax White just to re-highlight the strands of the rope. And with that Corax White applied, what we're going to do is we're going to use a teeny tiny amount of Carax Stone just to add a little bit of a spot highlight. To these leather details. You don't want this to be a completely full highlight because you want it to be quite an imposing darker leather. You can see just a small amount of Carrick stone there on the tip or on the corner of the pouch. Just gives it a little bit of a shine. And with that done, all that remains is to paint in the eye lenses of our intercessor. And the colour that we're going to use first for this is Talisar Blue. I'm going to be very careful here. Just going to take a small amount at a time. And just keep your hand very steady. Just apply this to Talisar Blue over the top of the yellow. 
like this. You just want to fill up the whole of the eye lens. With that Talisar blue applied, what you want to do is you want to use some Baharoth blue. And you want to just add this to the front third. of those eye lenses. And just to finish off those eye lenses, we're gonna add a little dot of Corax white in the top corner. Like that. And so with that done, our Imperial Fist is now finished. And he is really, really, really cool. So what we're gonna do now so we're going to do the basing and the colour I'm going to use first for this is Sterling Battlemire. And with all that Sterling Battlemire applied, what we're going to do is we're going to dry brush all of that mud with some Tyrant Skull. Just being really careful once we get close to the miniature. I've added a tuft to the base and so what we're gonna do now is gonna just take a small amount of Valhalla Blizzard. We just want to kind of almost dry brush this across with our texture spreader. We don't want to kind of layer this in a thick, snowy drift. We just want to, almost like the, the hint of snow, we can kind of just dab it into the grass as well, like that, to make it look like the grass is just, it's like it's a fresh snowfall, effectively using small amounts and as I say just kind of almost just like scraping it rather than blobbing it across the base like this. And with that Valhalla and Blizzard applied what we're now going to do is going to finish off the rim of the base to complete the model and the colour that we're going to use is some thinned down Corvus Black. It might take a couple of coats but it's worth it in the end. And with that base complete, our mighty Son of Dawn is now finished, ready to bolster the defences of the Imperium wherever he may tread. I mean, yeah, it's such a fantastic scheme, the Imperial Fist. It's just so unique and bright and, well, it's just, it's just stunning to look at. I, I, I fully envy anybody who has full armies of these fellas because it is just such a labour of love before contrast paints and the contrast paints make it so much easier to do and i'm loving the fact that we see so many imperial fists armies around these days it's it's it brings a nice warm glow to my heart and a tear to my eye if you enjoyed this one and you'd like to support me further like these legends on the screen you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash war hipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash war hipster don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. And if you'd like to stay up to date, make sure to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.